Hey guys, and welcome to Fallout 4. Yeah, it's, it's not as exciting, I know. It's, um... But you, you can't get the same excitement levels at me all the time. Alright. Just accept it! Accept it and move on! With all seriousness, let's get back into it. I may have been playing a bit without you. A bit. A lot. Music stop, please! Copyright! No! No! My, my three bubble heads that I collected throughout the game. Oh yeah, this is my house. I've collected many a magazines. Many, many a magazine. Um... An awful lot of weapons, a lot, of, uh, an awful lot of rare weapons. So, yeah, I've I've been playing a lot. Just give you like some understanding of what's what's happened. And you've missed. I've made an awful lot of weapon parts. My uniform. And shit, my legendary items, and then my my torsos and things, all my power armor, my house, um, highly customized, looks amazing. I know my my dog house, Mister. I I think. That that's the other one. Oh yeah, dog meat has dog armor on. An awful lot of dog armor on. It's a bit harder to kill. Oh, that was that was a suit of power armor. So yeah. Oh, Fury, where is she? Ah, that's the other robot which I found. Please. Um. How are you How doing? Are you? I find myself wanting to set out again. Uh -huh. I hope we can renew our partnership. Sure. Never no. mind. As you wish. <laughs> I like dog meat, I'm sorry. If I could take you both with me, then I would, but you're both pain in the ass. So I like have both of you. So yeah, I have four sets of power armor. Yeah. Yeah. We have T60, 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 Raider, T45, and Raider. And then the legendary chess piece, which I found. I'll show you where I found it. I have, I've done a lot. I have, I've been a, lo a long area. To be fair, the only thing I haven't done is the main quest line. I thought I'd be fair. There's also Fault 95, which I do want to go to. So whether I do it in this video or not, that'll be undecided for a while. Oops. But yeah, I found the rare chess piece if you go to Cambridge Polymer Labs. Because you get trapped in there. And you either get told to do the science thing, or you can escape without doing the science thing. But if you do the science thing, which is, I find fun, you get an awful lot of crap. So this is, yeah. Yeah. Where's Strong? There he is. My super so mutant friend. Strong only need hammer. Wish a bucket head would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Somewhat creepy. Why am I wanting to talk to you? I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. I can only help our cause. Great. 
So, I also built a little bit of defense around the uh, door to the settlement. Who are you? Got work to do. Can't talk now. I'd like oh, to trade some items. Settlers. Sure thing. We got. I set up a um, siren and a other thing. Recruitment radio beacon. So this place will slowly gain more people. I don't know if it's a six. So yeah. We have an artillery cannon. Uh, just for the hell of it, you know. Why not? Let's put someone equipped. He's apparently working on that thing. I can't remember who does that thing. We have a shit ton, shit tons of turrets. Yeah. Purification over there. That's fine. How much water do I have in my base? So we do check. I think I feel a bit weird. I haven't done the main quest yet. I don't know what's going to happen. People keep trying to spoil it. Like the schools. It's pissing me off so much. I'm like, no, please. supposed to do? <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> Alright, there we go. This is gonna be fun. I have to try and find all the fucking things. So, I'm gonna just come down here and skip all the fucking long ass journey. Because you wouldn't really get much of a game experience out of it. So, Every issue of Hot Rod you get gives you a new paint job for power armor available to any power armor workshop. Flame job. Look at this. It's issue one. Volume one. Thirty-five dollars. Really? For a magazine? Thirty thirty-five dollars. Hmm. Seems like they uh, had a bit more issue money than I thought. Anyway, uh, weapons and creatures can deliver four types of damage ballistic, energy, radiation, and something else, which I'm not quite sure on because I didn't get to read all of it. Dog found something. What is it, dog? I found a sewer. I'm sort of looking at that box. It's intriguing, I know. Oh, what's that robot? Let's go look at this robot, shall we? No, bad dog! <laughs> bad robot, no! Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. Oh yeah, I have a extra weapons. That's an awful lot of weapons. I will do those later. Or I won't do them because they'll disappear and say that I did bad. Where the fuck am I going? This way. Oh. Turn that robot. That's right. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to Piper. let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City and keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. And that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't.
can't just lock me out. Open up. What the fuck is going on? Hey. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Mm, who are what? you? Who are you? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. Let me make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> I could have got in alone. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. I couldn't. This game. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for part. Ooh, is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Pirate mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask a newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believe in freedom news. of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring Just you into funny this stories argument, in them sir. usually. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Yeah, sure. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? You're full of it, sounds great, whatever. <laughs> what are arguing. you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Trying to find Missing someone. Person. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. I don't think he's caught on. Your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there's... One private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, nice. Diamond City Security doesn't have that much was... help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonald. What's the real reason security never investigates any cases? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of like McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Nice. Head on inside. Officer? Got a question? Should talk to Sullivan. Hey. Hey. What's up? I'm just smoking. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I'm I didn't sorry. mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. 
You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. You're Sullivan, right? Just walk on through the gate as soon as you leave. Oh, right. Well, get out of the way. 